Well, Saints tight end Jawan Johnson is expected to make his return to the field tomorrow after recovering from a calf injury. You can hear from Johnson on how close the Saints offense is uh, to playing up to their standards here in your morning sports. Happy Saturday morning, everyone. After missing the last four weeks with a calf injury, Saints tight end Jawan Johnson will be available to play this weekend. Johnson was a full participant at practice on Friday. Johnson could provide a boost to this offense that has been struggling lately, especially in the red zone. Johnson led the team in receiving touchdowns a season ago, and he believes the offense is close to finally reaching its potential. Yeah, we're close. Yeah, of course we, we, we've been close. I mean, I feel like you know the points don't reflect it, but um, you know we we, we kind of had a, a little hard time moving the ball, but we're moving the ball pretty well. It's just that when we get to the red zone, we haven't punching it in, and that's just the key thing. Um, you know, we're just gonna take a little by little. Uh, I think that's the the biggest thing about it all, just executing, uh, not to get too cute, not to do what everybody says we should be doing. Um, just playing our just playing our ball, man. I mean, I, I think that's the biggest thing. Playing our ball we've been doing since camp. What all the hype's been about, but you know, we, we know we, we know we can't blow, so we're just going to go out there and do it. A long injury report on Friday. Just one Saint listed as out for Sunday, though. That's tackle James Hurst. Nine other guys listed as questionable. That includes safety JT Gray, linebacker Demario Davis, the two safeties Tyron Matthew and Marcus May. The list continues. These guys are all questionable as well. Quarterback Taysom Hill, cornerback Alante Taylor, Max Garcia and Jimmy Graham both dealing with an illness. And then Andres Pete as he deals with an ankle injury.